Errol Spence has a definite path to victory in this rematch against Terence Crawford, and that path involves a specific strategy. The much-anticipated rematch between Errol Spence and Terence Crawford has captured the attention of fans and experts alike. Surprisingly, many experts are favoring Spence as the potential winner of this fight. Expert commentator Sean Porter, for one, believes that Spence has a strong chance at 154 lbs and anticipates that he will be mentally stronger for this rematch. Spence has shown the ability to make adjustments, particularly at the 154-pound weight class, and his mental fortitude is unwavering. On the other hand, Brian B.A.C., Crawford's coach, maintains a high level of confidence in Crawford's chances and believes that this rematch won't change the outcome significantly. He even suggests that this fight could be more one-sided than the previous one, with the decision remaining unchanged. The performance may even be slightly improved, but the overall result is expected to remain the same. Errol Spence needs to be cautious, as there's a lot at stake. Now, let's explore the predictions from experts regarding this fight. Can Spence redeem himself in this rematch and erase the blemish on his career, or will Crawford once again dominate Spence? In today's video, we'll delve into the debate surrounding Errol Spence's decision to pursue a rematch against Terence Crawford. Many experts are weighing in on whether he made the right choice by invoking the rematch clause in his contract. Significant changes have occurred in Spence's camp since his crushing defeat to Bud Crawford in July, and it appears that he's fully prepared to put forth his best effort and secure a victory this time. What's even more astonishing is the recent news regarding Floyd Mayweather's involvement with Errol Spence and his training team as they prepare for the highly anticipated fight scheduled to occur before the end of 2023. The partnership between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Errol Spence Jr. for the rematch against Terence Crawford has sent shockwaves through the boxing world. The circulating rumors about the undefeated boxing legend Floyd Mayweather joining Errol Spence's team are creating a buzz. This strategic move is viewed as a game-changer for Spence as he readies himself for the rematch with Terence Crawford. Mayweather known for his unparalleled boxing intelligence and unmatched defensive skills, is expected to be a significant asset in Spence's training and preparation. Floyd Mayweather, often hailed as the greatest defensive boxer in history, boasts a flawless record of 50 wins with zero losses. His boxing style is characterized by impeccable defense, lightning-quick reflexes, and the uncanny ability to anticipate and react to his opponent's movements. Mayweather's mastery in the ring has led to victories over some of the most formidable fighters of his generation. His famous shoulder roll technique, in which he uses his lead shoulder to deflect punches while launching precise counterattacks with his right hand, is just one example of the many defensive strategies that have rendered him nearly untouchable in the ring. Throughout his entire career, Mayweather was rarely hit hard, perhaps only three or four times, as exemplified in his memorable fight against Diego Chico Corrales, which remains one of my all-time favorites. Having Mayweather in his corner is akin to having a master tactician guiding Errol Spence, Spence, renowned for his aggressive style and formidable punching power, stands to gain immensely from incorporating Mayweather's defensive techniques into his own approach. This fusion of Spence's natural aggression with Mayweather's defensive expertise could prove to be a winning combination. Spence can bring a more unpredictable and versatile fighting style to his showdown with Crawford. Moreover, Mayweather's wealth of experience in high-stakes matches holds immense value for Spence. Mayweather has navigated through numerous high-pressure situations, confronting opponents who were widely expected to be the ones to finally defeat him. Yet time and time again, Mayweather emerged as the victor, often making it seem effortless. The mental fortitude, the capacity to remain composed under pressure and the wisdom gained from handling the intense spotlight are invaluable lessons that Mayweather can pass on to Spence. Furthermore, 
Mayweather's grasp of ring psychology can serve as a game changer for Spence. In the world of boxing, the mental aspect is just as critical as the physical one. Understanding an opponent's mindset, predicting their actions, and employing feints and distractions to create openings are all components of the mental warfare that unfolds inside the boxing ring. Mayweather's insights in this domain could prove instrumental for Spence's success. With his extensive years of experience, Mayweather can offer valuable insights into the subtle nuances of the game, equipping Spence with a psychological advantage over Crawford. However, it's not solely about techniques and strategy. Mayweather's legendary dedication, rigorous training routines, and unwavering commitment to the sport are well known. Training alongside Mayweather can help Spence elevate his fitness levels, enhance his endurance, and ensure that he is in the best physical condition of his career for the rematch. Mayweather's training camps are renowned for their demanding nature, pushing boxers to their limits and preparing them for any potential scenarios inside the ring. In addition to the Mayweather factor, Another aspect that could work in Spence's favor during the rematch is the significance of weight in the high-stakes realm of professional boxing. Every detail matters, and the choice to set the rematch weight at 154 pounds has become a focal point of discussion, particularly with Derek James. Errol Spence's trainer is highlighting the advantages of the weight adjustment, emphasizing how it can significantly benefit Spence. This weight alteration is seen as a strategic maneuver, one that could enable Spence to better harness his power and stamina, potentially providing him with an edge in the rematch. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has also weighed in on this matter, suggesting that Spence should contemplate competing in a higher weight class. Mayweather believes that Spence's physical stature makes it challenging for him to make weight at the junior middleweight division, and he proposes that Spence should consider moving up to the 160 or even the 168-pound weight class. Mayweather's recommendation stems from Spence's past experience when he appeared undernourished and physically weakened as he dietized down to 147 pounds for his megafight against Terence Crawford. Mayweather's concern lies in the belief that a modest increase to 154 pounds may still not be sufficient to bring out the best in Spence. He suggests that Spence could still appear physically underpowered to defeat Crawford in their rematch. Mayweather expresses a strong opinion, stating, I don't think he should be fighting at 147 at all. I don't think he should be fighting at 154, really. I think he should be fighting... The boxing community has observed that Spence has looked emaciated and feeble in his recent fights, not only against Crawford but also in his matchups with Jordanis Ugas and Danny Garcia. This debilitated appearance can be attributed to the substantial weight Spence gained following his car crash in 2019. Since that incident, he has grappled with the challenge of maintaining an optimal fighting weight, which has subsequently impacted his performance in the ring. Mayweather's recommendation for Spence to transition to the super middleweight division at 168 pounds is rooted in the array of opportunities it presents. This move would enable Spence to leverage the presence of renowned fighters such as Canelo Alvarez, David Benavidez, Caleb Plant, and Demetrius Andrade within this weight class. Not only would this shift be advantageous for Spence's overall well-being and in-ring performance, but it could also open doors to a multitude of significant and high-profile bout possibilities for his career. While Mayweather's counsel carries substantial weight due to his unparalleled experience and accomplishments in the world of boxing, the ultimate decision lies with Spence and his team. Opting for the 154-pound weight class may pose challenges for Spence in terms of maintaining his strength and stamina, and this decision will significantly impact the direction of his career. However, should he heed Mayweather's counsel and make the move to the 168-pound weight class, Spence could potentially undergo a transformation in his boxing career. This transition would allow him to seize the numerous opportunities for significant and high-profile fights available in this weight category. The boxing community is abuzz with anticipation for the rematch between Errol Spence Jr. and Terence Crawford. 
Many experts suggest that Spence possesses the potential to reverse the outcome of their previous encounter, provided he implements specific adjustments to his strategy. Fans and boxing enthusiasts have recently delved deeper into the tactical intricacies of the Spence-Crawford matchup. Their perspective underscores the importance of Spence not replicating his approach from their initial fight. Instead, the key lies in outboxing Crawford, compelling him to take the lead. By adopting this approach, Spence can effectively counter Crawford's movements, seizing opportunities and exploiting his vulnerabilities. This strategy was notably evident in Jose Benavidez's bout against Crawford. Despite not having achieved the same level of accomplishment as Spence, Benavides had moments of success by employing a strategy that involved making Crawford approach him. By reacting to Crawford's movements instead of being the aggressor, Benavides managed to land significant punches and disrupt Crawford's rhythm. Furthermore, Fanon underscored the importance of Spence's adaptability in the rematch. The critical error in their initial fight was Spence's predictability. Crawford, a perceptive and tactical boxer, could anticipate Spence's actions and effectively counter them. For Spence to stand a chance at victory, he must introduce an element of unpredictability, compelling Crawford to react rather than allowing him to dictate the tempo. Furthermore, the analysis emphasized the significance of Spence avoiding physical depletion, as seen in their initial encounter. Being in optimal physical condition will enable Spence to effectively harness his power and stamina, which are essential components for executing the proposed strategy. Drawing parallels with other fights, the expert pointed out that fighters who have compelled Crawford to take the lead have experienced relative success. By making Crawford the aggressor, they've been able to capitalize on his forward momentum, landing counters, and disrupting his game plan. Overall, Errol Spence unquestionably possesses the potential to win this fight, and he can achieve this victory by implementing a specific approach. Furthermore, the analysis underscored the significance of thoroughly examining past fights. There exists a wealth of information regarding Crawford's tactics, particularly in how he secured a victory against Spence in their initial meeting. By carefully studying this footage, Spence can pinpoint recurring patterns, anticipate Crawford's moves, and formulate a strategy that capitalizes on Crawford's vulnerabilities. If Spence chooses to adopt this approach, he has a strong chance of defeating Crawford in the rematch. This perspective was recently emphasized by Sean Porter, who, in his analysis, highlighted Errol Spence's potential to secure victory in the rematch. Porter stressed the importance of specific adjustments in Spence's strategy to achieve this outcome. In the first encounter, Spence's predictability allowed Crawford to anticipate his actions and counter them with effectiveness. To change the tide in their rematch, Spence needs to alter his approach. Porter suggests that Spence should shift his focus to outboxing Crawford, prompting Crawford to take the initiative. By doing so, Spence can skillfully counter Crawford's movements, seizing opportunities, and exploiting Crawford's weaknesses. Porter noted that, based on the first round of their initial bout, the fight appeared evenly matched, but the dynamics shifted thereafter. He holds a strong belief that Spence can make the necessary adjustments and provide a more formidable challenge to Crawford in the rematch. Spence's ability to adapt, grow stronger, especially at the 154-pound weight class, and maintain remarkable mental fortitude fortifies this conviction. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.